Welcome back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actress you know from Friday Night Lights and from Nashville, where she died in last week's episode. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely, lively Connie Britton. <laughs> I've already shrunk two sizes. And your rings are falling yes. off? Yes. Well, nice to see you again. Thanks. Last nice time we saw each other, we were at a very fun party. We were at yeah. the president's 55th uh, birthday party. And not Trump. Not Trump. Different, pre might, different president, y'all. It might just be a few clarify. years before I get invited back to that place. I, I know. I, yeah. I think the same. I'm nice house. Not be... Nice house. Beautiful house. Yeah. I wonder what he's done with it. <laughs> just, just photos of himself and gold leaf. Just gold everywhere. You everywhere. Just so much gold leaf. Um, now listen, this is yeah. this is a big interview for me because this is your first public appearance since your character Raina James died last week. Yes. All right. Yes. Now. I know. It's my it's my first public appearance since then too. So it's a bit, and it's my first time on your show. So. <laughs> It's weird it's big, for me. It's good for all of us. Well, it's weird for me because I'm dead, but I'm here. Do you see right. what I'm saying? How long did you play Reyna? Five years. Five years. And your fans are ardent, passionate fans. Our fans I mean, are they, they kept that show uh, on the um, air. Our fans are, are as amazing as this crowd. This is an amazing crowd, by the They're way. They're lovely people. Y'all are impressive. But Nashville fans, Nashville fans are of this They're caliber. They're pretty rabid. Now, let's, can, do you have any... Do you have any comforting news for your fans? Let's let's try to let's try to make the morning papers. Is your character really dead, or does she come back as like her evil twin with a goatee? Or <laughs> zombies are hot right now. Well, Zombie Reina. I think these are great ideas, actually. Thank you very much. Um, you're, you're so smart. Yeah. You're so is smart. is she really dead? Uh, she's really dead. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just you know I gotta I gotta like tell it like it is. She's really dead. But I think the twin sister idea is not bad. Mm -hmm. What if, you know, I mean, it's Nashville. Anything could happen. What if the long-lost twin sister comes back? Mm -hmm. Oh, and she's such a devil. <laughs> oh, she's a such bad. a devil. She'll come back and be well, horrible. Do you have any words of comfort for your fans out there? Um, you want to tell I them? would just say to my fans, first of all, that I love you so much. The show loves you so much. And that, you know, Raina will live on forever. We, you know, I'm so, I feel so fortunate that I was able to play that character truly with all my heart. I love that character so much. And just like when we lose somebody in our lives, the spirit lives on. Mm -hmm. And reruns. And reruns. And there's always and reruns. reruns. There's reruns now, and there's I did not know this. I was pretty excited to find out about this. Can I show this photo right here? <laughs> this is incredible. When you were a, a younger woman, uh, you were How roommates you? with uh, Senator uh, Kirsten, Gillibrand Kirsten Gillibrand, right there. That's the two of you. Those are that looks like it's a couple of fun girls to run into when you're backpacking around. We were you, we were not only backpacking around, we were in Beijing, China. Okay, the, what what year are we talking about here? How dare you! <laughs> That is rude. 2007. 2007, okay. yeah. You, that were, was it. you were an Asian studies major yes. with a focus in Chinese. Yes. Thank wow. you. Thank you, one person. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Did that come in handy, the Asian studies with a focus in Chinese? Yeah, come in handy I playing have, Reina? I played, <laughs> especially playing Reina. Especially funny, Rana. No, I, uh, but I, I loved studying Chinese because I'm studying in China because I felt like it allowed me to learn a lot about the world and a lot about people, and that's you know that's part of what being. An Do you actor. still have any Mandarin? Do you have any? Uh... <laughs> Ni hao. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, I, but actually, what the thing that's so sad is that I was gonna try. I was gonna say no, and I was like, well, I can say one thing. Ni hao, ni shanti hama, and then you just said the thing that I can say. <laughs> So sorry. And I studied it for four years. Yes. And I uh, went there with the senator from New York. And you just said the thing that I can say. How did you guys get to know each other? We were roommates? Yeah. 
Yeah, we were roommates. We went. We were in college together. We were studying Chinese together. We and then we were roommates at, in in Beijing. Now, what was it? Uh, what was it like? Did you were you just by yourself like traipsing around? No, or? no, no. We were there with a college program, okay. and you know, we were we were getting into a lot of trouble. We were there actually. We were there on a summer term. We went to Dartmouth College. We were there on a summer term, mm -hmm. and so it was the Fourth of July. Uh, and while did they we celebrate there. the Fourth of July there? N nope, no, no. <laughs> but there is an American oh. embassy there, oh, and okay. so they of course had a big 4th of July party like you do when you're in Beijing. And so we... All the uh, fireworks you could but, possibly but want. But what we found out about... <laughs> that's actually true. Um, but what we discovered was that they were having at their 4th of July party a lip sync contest. So Kirsten Gillibrand and the two other girls that we were all like hanging out together in Beijing, yeah. we uh, prepared our lip sync performance, which was singing to ho Madonna's Holiday. Oh, and we okay. went, yeah. Now we was this a hit at the time? <laughs> I'm just trying to, I, I, I'm trying to, I I'm gonna 20 questions this I see, thing. You, I see what you did there, <laughs> and I don't like it, okay? <laughs> And I'm mad at you, but really, I did it to myself. All right, all right. Anyway, the end of my story is that we won the lip sync contest at the American Embassy mm. on the 4th of July. Yes. In Beijing. In Beijing, China, with Kirsten Gillibrand, the senator from New York City. I believe I mean, New York you State. deserve to be saluted now. What did you win? <laughs> Just I, maybe, maybe, like, little American flags on a stick. How long were you over there? For three months. Did like your family like three worry months? about you at all? They're sending you off. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what if you got sick or something like that? Oh yeah, we did get sick. Oh, we got so sick. We got so sick. We went to this beach town. We ate who knows what. We got so sick. We had to go to this like Chinese doctor, and he gave us like toad venom, to to make us. I'm are, not you even, are you serious? Yeah, serious? I'm not even kidding. Literally, it was Chinese medicine. Yes. Which is a little different, and I'm telling you, it was made of toad. Well, actually, and Kirsten says that too. She might be making that up. But I think it was toad venom. But you were there too. I had to take it. We were we were all violent. The guy Ill. said it was toad venom? Yeah. Yeah. That is actually Donald Trump's replacement for Obamacare. <laughs> Just a little. So, it worked, right though? But it, it worked, worked, right? It worked. The best. Hey, there's Absolutely hope, everybody. The best. It worked. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Great news. Now, also, you're also uh, you're also a UN ambassador, yes. right? Yeah. A goodwill ambassador. What does that mean? What does it you does that mean? How do you how do you spread goodwill? How do I spread goodwill? Yeah. Um, I just you know I smile a lot. <laughs> but is your job is Say to? Say what's up? What's uh, happening? What's happening in this photo right here? This is oh, you at the airport in in Nashville. That right? was in Nashville. We recently greeted a, a new Kurdish family who came in. They were turned away mm -hmm. um, because of the uh, because of Trump's ban. They were turned yeah. away, but then they ended up being able to come into the country. And so we went to the Nashville airport and greeted them. Wonderful Kurdish friends. It was lovely. Well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. It was lovely to see you. Thank you. I hope you do come back as your own evil twin. I know. Whether on Nashville or this show. Either, Either way. one. Either happy way. with it. Yes. Nashville airs Thursday on CMT. Connie Britton, everybody. We'll be right back with Zoe Dorf. Stick around. Thank you so much.